What's up, guys? We're back with more Merge NYC gameplay. We're back on the Brooklyn map, and we're going to be doing another viewer request. This time, we're taking out the 176 truck, the 10 house truck. You definitely don't want to miss this one. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, and let's get started. All right, we have our first fire call. It's going to be fire into commercial. It's going to be engine 227, 222, 234, ladder 123, tower 111, battalion 38. We're all going to be responding. We do have a fire, so we will make this full 1075, all hands. Uh, okay, here's the deal. 176 isn't actually in the station that it is in on the map. Uh, people, they've said why, like viewers have left comments why it's on there. I guess it's just to add another uh, ladder or something to the map. I can't remember. But anyway, we're going to kind of change this around a little bit. So uh, we'll respond 227 and Tower 111, I think, would be the first new engine and ladder. And then um, we'll do 222 and 176. Uh, two, three, four, and uh, one, two, three will be the fast ladder. Then we'll bring an extra engine. We'll bring two, fourteen. The battalion three, eight. We'll bring squad and uh, rescue as well too. So let's go ahead and see about getting all that set up. That's how we're going to do it. You know, like I said, sometimes there's uh some license taken uh with the game. It's not exactly a hundred percent like it is in real life. So what we're doing. All right, uh, two, two, seven. Let's get him going. We'll bring him here. Uh, put him on the corner here with his hydrants. And then Tower 111, we'll put him, the 111 truck. I think we'll go down here on this corner, maybe right here. Might be a pretty good spot. And then who else we got now? 222 and uh, the 176 truck. All right, let's take 222. Let's take 222 and we'll put him right here. And now let's jump on 176. Let's do that. All right, here we are, loaded up on 176. Let's get all the things going, and let's see about getting out of here. 222 just left out ahead of us. And I think we need to go back to the right. Yes, we do. All right, sweet. Let's get going. Nice-looking truck, though. I really like this one. It's another one we don't do. Uh, we don't do a whole lot with. I think on this map it's more uh, 111 truck and 123. But all right, let's go down here to Bergen Street, and we'll hang this right. We should be right there at it. We'll get this set up and ready to go. And um, you know, I actually scratch that. We'll bring in the rest of the units, and then we'll get it set up. 111's not here yet. He's uh, taking a sweet time, huh? All right, uh, let's hop out. And let's get the rest of the units here. Ah, there we go. There's uh, 111. All right, he showed up. All right, so we've got basically two engines and two ladders. Uh, we need to bring 234 and uh, 123 be our fast ladder. Let's get him. We'll park him down here and let's get uh, 234. Do we have another hydrant somewhere? Yeah, we got one down here. Let's grab that. We'll jump on this hydrant. And now 214, we'll bring him. He'll be our fourth. We'll put him, uh, I think we'll put him right here. Let's get rescued too, just for the heck of it. We'll have them put themselves on this call. We'll bring them. We'll do, let's see, where could we put these guys? I think maybe right here. And then we're going to bring squad too. Like we're going to have everyone, everyone responding. It's kind of a slow day in the borough. So we got everyone's putting themselves on the call. Uh, I think Battalion 38 was supposed to show up too. Yeah, 38, let's get him as well. We'll put him here and then we'll do squad. I think we're about to spawn them in. Yeah, we'll do 252, we'll bring 252. People have been asking about 252, so we'll do that. There we go. 252. We'll go right. I don't like parking them too close on each other because that's when weirdness happens. We'll see how that works out. All right. I think we're good, right? That should be the full response. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back on 176. We'll start getting these guys set up. Nice, yeah, getting our turnout gear. Yeah, someone had mentioned the other day that we could put water on the fire with the rear mount ladders. That's true, and we have done that in the past. We've done that a few times. It's been a while, though, so we may see about doing that. We may use uh, 111 and 176. Ah, right, here comes Rescue 2. You hear him. 
Laying on that horn just like real life, right? Oh no, never mind. Actually, that is going to be squad. There's 214 rolling up. Nice. I could have swore I heard. Oh, there's rescue. You came in. I, you just magically appeared, but I knew I heard him. You, I heard him. All right, let's uh, let's get 111 going as well. Get his outriggers down. So yeah, we'll put some uh, water on it with 111 in the rear mount on 176. Be something a little different. Like I said, we've done it before. This has been a while since we used those. Yeah, we got some fires in there for sure. Got uh, three roll-up doors, two small, one big. So we'll have to pop those open. Let's go ahead and get our supply going first before we do that. We'll do uh, 227. 227 will supply uh, 111 and uh, we'll also run our hand lines off of him. And then 222 will do uh, 176. All right, there we go. Got our water going. Let's drop him down right here. Let's go ahead and get a relay. Run this down a 111 truck. We'll try. Uh, the hose is all kind of wonky. We'll get it straightened out here. All right, yeah, since we're going to pull hand lines off this, uh, we'll have to run it to the front. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get the pump going. There we go. Line is charged. Kinky as hell, but <laughs> you know what? Like I said, it's in the couplings. It's That's where the problem lies, is in the couplings in the joints between the uh the hose segments and we can try to kind of flake it out a little bit but it like it's not perfect it won't you know it is what it is and it's not detrimental to uh the game or the water supply so i don't worry about it too much and uh like another viewer left comment said uh, it flake itself out when you add the water and that's true it will it'll flake itself out so absolutely uh, okay so we got 111 is set up let's get uh, a supply going for 176. I'm telling you guys, I love this setup. I really, if Spur was younger, I should have, I should have been a, a chauffeur in my younger days. I'm telling you. All right, let's drop him right here and let's pull another relay off this guy. We'll take him to 176. Pretty nice looking scene, not too bad, right? Not too bad, uh, it's noon. I think it was a little bit earlier than that when it started out, yeah. Yeah, let's get him hooked up, let's do the pipe. Yeah, we'll go ahead and kind of get the ladder positioned a little bit here. We'll put some water on the roof, we'll pop those doors, we'll hit it on the roof, and then um, we'll hit it from outside as well. There we go. All right. Let's hop down. Let's get the other end of the line. Get charged. We should be good to go. All right. I don't see us pulling a headline off this guy, so we're just going to go to the rear connection there and go ahead and charge this one. We should be good to go. Uh, it was charged. We're good on that. Let's see if it works. You know, I don't know if I've ever put water on a fire 176, so maybe it works. Maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We'll see. Yeah, it does. Nice. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. All right. We're good with that. Um, let's see if we can hop down and let him continue spraying. Yes, he is doing his thing. Nice. All right. And let's hop on 111. We'll get some water going this way. Nice. Good view. Good view. Got street light in the way there, but that'll be all right. All right. Let's see. Let's get our nozzle going down here. And is it working? Yes, it is. Nice. All right. We're getting some waters on the fires there, guys. Let's see if we keep spraying. Does it? Uh, of course, we took one for the team, but I think it is still spraying. Let's jump back on them here. Let's do it. 
Uh, yes, nice. All right, we got dual streams going. Get back in our turnout gear. We'll get some saws, cut these doors open. Um, I think... I think we need to kind of pull it back a little bit, though, because it looked like it was, uh... It was almost about to go over the building. Like, it was hitting that back wall there. There we go. All right, I think we're good with that. Uh, saws. Let's grab some saws here. All right, let's get these cut. There we go. All right, that one worked. We'll get the big roll up in a minute. Uh, I didn't see a lock on that one, so we may have to like do a traditional cut on that, which is what we used to do a lot back in the day because locks used to be bugged. There we go. Okay, that one's up as well, too. Yeah, some fire in the back. Looks like uh, some kind of office back there with some fires in it. And I don't see a lock on this guy, so... We may have to do the traditional cut and pull it with a hook. That's what we've done in the past. We'll see. It doesn't look like it's cutting it. Uh, oh! Well, okay. Alright, it just rolled up on us. I guess we did hit the lock. We had an invisible lock. All right, let's drop you down right here, and yeah, nice. Okay, not a bad looking fire. We're, uh, we've got it going good here. All right, there we go. Just grab a few screenshots. Yeah, not a bad looking scene. Like, that looks pretty good. Absolutely, that looks really nice. I think we're getting some water on it with 176. Go check it out. Is there anyone in there? I don't think there is. Uh, I don't think so. Well, it's too late to make entry now with those, <laughs> with the water being put on the fire, so. You know what? We'll go with it. Let's pull a hand line. We'll start hitting it with a hand line real fast. Alright, let's pull them down and we'll drop them here. Oh, damn it. He's going back. No, no, come back. <laughs> come back. Where did our hand line go? Uh, we're going to have to pull it again because... I have no clue where it went. It went under there somewhere, and I'm afraid I'm going to wind up picking something up there or something else up that we don't need to grab. All right, let's... Oh, shoot, we can't put it back because it'll put our relay... Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Nice. All right. I was going to say it'll put our relay up, too, and I don't want to do that. Like, it'll jack up everything that we just did. Like, I would almost rather stretch a line from... Uh, um, 234 up here than to do that over again, so... All right, come on. There we go. Had a little resistance against it there. I think we're good now. All right, let's drop this guy here, and we'll go grab the other end. Yeah, I swear. If a dude keeps uh, running out of energy, we'll have to uh, visit the Lugli. There we go. Maybe that'll, that'll help. There we go. Where did the other end go now? Like, we're missing the other end of the... Man, what a hot mess. <laughs> like, all the lines right here. Dang it, yeah, there's like, there's stuff everywhere. Where did that other end go? I think it's I think it's just hidden in here. Maybe there it is. Okay. Let's hook you up on the rear and it should just automatically charge. Yeah, okay, we're good with that. Alright, we'll get our water. We'll get our water going here. We'll have this knocked down in no time. Not a bad response. Not a bad one at all. I like this setup. So we're not going to make entry. We're just going to hit it from uh, the outside. We do an exterior attack. Though I don't know about that office back there. That may be kind of a pain to get to, honestly. We'll see. We'll give it a try. <coughs>
We may have to use uh, the ladder. We may have to just hit it through the roof back there. All right, I think we've about got it once that smoke clears out. It looks like it may be out in the office, too. Well, no, it's not. It's still going back there in the very back. All right, let's hop up. Let's get a little better angle here. Yeah, it's still... Still going good back there. Too bad we couldn't punch a hole in the roof with the uh, power ladder. Let's do our spiral here. Alright, it's looking good. We still got that in the office. We got one or two options here. We could uh, stop our uh, our aerial streams and just make entry and hit it that way, or we could try to get it with the tower ladder. We won't actually be able to see it. It won't be completely legit, but we could say it's going through the roof like it punched a hole or something like that. Yeah, I think we may do that. Get this right here. We get this a little bit, a little bit more. Get the car. Too bad the car wasn't on fire. That would be nice to put out too. Looks like it was. All right, there we go. All right, let's hop up, and we'll drop this guy right here. Let's see, what does it look like smoke-wise? Yeah, maybe it's trying to dissipate. It's hard to tell. It may honestly be out. You know what? Let's hop in the tower ladder. We'll hit it a little bit with it, and then um, we'll call it good. All right, let's kill that. And let's pull him down. There we go. Let's hop in them real fast. We'll let us. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, I think it's out. I think it's already out. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe not. In the very back, it may not be. It's hard to say. Yeah, I still see some dark smoke, so it could very well be some, uh, some fire back there. We're going to hit it. We'll try to get it through the roof. Will it not reach any more than that? Come on. I was actually to say, I know it'll go further than that. There we go, that's all of it. All right, let's do it this way. We'll hit this dark area. I mean, we could technically cut the roof and, and go through it that way. We'll see. If we can't get it this way, we'll uh, we'll cut it. We'll cut it open and get it. I think we're getting it though. Just have to pretend. Pretend it's going through the uh, roof and the ceiling. It could. I've seen videos of uh, real life tower ladders like punching a hole through a roof. Like no problem. It's crazy. Like a perfectly, uh, a, it, the roof wasn't compromised at all. Like it was perfectly intact. Good roof on a house. Like shingle, you know, regular uh, house construction, shingle and uh, plywood or whatever. And uh, they put that tower ladder on it and just kept it there in that one spot. And next thing you know, the shingles are coming off and then the plywood's coming off and then they have a nice hole right through it. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. A ton of water pressure. All right, I think, I think we're good. Well, every time I say that, it starts coming back. Maybe not... We'll keep hitting it a little bit more. I'm on a big exterior attack kick right now. If you guys haven't noticed, like, you know, it's easy to just grab a hand line and go in there and put water directly on it and put it out and call it a day. But uh, I kind of like the challenge of doing it from the exterior now, honestly. There we go. Now we're getting some steam. That may be it. That may be it, guys, right there. I think so. I think we're good. We'll keep going a little bit further. 
Of course, we do this on the tower ladder. It's a little bit easier to manipulate and like get your angles and all that stuff than the uh, traditional ladder. The uh, the traditional ladder, like I like to use just to like throw water on something and not worry about it. There we go. I think that's good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's come back down. Oop, other way, other way, Spur. I get lined up a little bit better. All right, it should be good right here. Sweet. All right, let's hop down. Let's take a peek. Yes, sir. I think we got it. Let's kill this stream, and uh, we'll go in and do a little overhaul, and then we'll call it. In fact, you know what? We'll just go ahead and take him down to the roof now. Ah, it looks good right there. Good enough. Actually, let's go out a little further. There we go. All right, that's good. Uh, let's grab, let's grab a hook, I think. All right, let's go take a peek here. I think we can take all this out. Like, I think we take the sheetrock down. Yeah, nice. All right, yeah, we did get it. Sweet. Some nice eyeballs right there. Some firefighter eyeballs from the back. <laughs> from the back looks crazy and the doors open sweet today is our lucky day i am telling y'all let's uh let's do some overhaul back here too this is a good little fire i actually like this one it's pretty cut and dry there we are let's take all these studs out too we gotta uh we're stuck why are we stuck there we go we gotta do the demolition part too you know especially in a building that we can do this with We'll get it all down. Double check. Got to make sure there's no fires in there. We got to make sure we got it all. This could have been really bad here because it looks like, a, yeah, it's an explosive barrel. If I'd realized that, we uh, we could have brought our uh, second piece to squad for hazmat. We probably should have done that. Maybe not. Oh, we got fire in here. What? There is some fire. We got fires in here, guys. Like, no. <laughs> I thought we had it all put out. Oh, all right. Guess we'll uh, we'll grab a hand line and take care of that. This is mop up. Like we're just doing clean up and stuff. Nothing too crazy. All right. Did we destroy everything in here? Because I think we just about did. Wait, we got some sheetrock right here. Take that out. And all right. Yeah, we took the studs out there. Uh, yeah, let's grab a headline, put a little water on that fire, and then we'll be, we'll be good. We'll call it a day. Just a quick little fire today. Yeah, it looks like it went out on its own. Never mind. You know what? We threatened it with the water, and it's just like, I'm good. Uh, that's anticlimactic. All right, you know what? We're still going to put some water over there, because we saw it burning right there. We'll hit it one last time. Yeah, I didn't see any smoke. That's kind of weird. It's like a smokeless fire. Nice, nice. There we go. Sweet. All right. I think we can call this one good. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, we'll catch you on the streets of Brooklyn next time. Peace.